Hi guys! In this video, tuturuan ko kayo on how to compute the present value of a liability or of a receivable as well as tuturuan ko kayo kung paano i-compute or i-prepare yung amortization table. So, start tayo sa present value. Here, para ma-compute ang present value, kailangan mo munang malaman kung gaano mo yan kadalas babayaran. One-time payment lang ba yan? Or periodic payment because nakasalalay doon yung present value factor na ating gagamitin. So for the present value factor computation, please watch my other video in the same channel. So here, magkaroon tayo ng mga given. What are the given information here? Let's say, meron tayong principal which is equal to 3 million pesos, nominal rate, or the stated interest rate is equal to 10%. Then sabihin na natin na meron tayong effective rate or the market rate of interest which is 12%. Then interest is paid annually. So here, in the computation of present value, dalawa ang ating ipipresent value. Namely, principal and interest. Principal, obviously given na yan, that is 3 million pesos. Interest received or interest paid every period, on the other hand, is computed by multiplying the principal, which is 3 million pesos, to the nominal rate, which is 10%. So we have 300,000 interest received or interest paid every period. So ngayon, si principal, marireceive lang yan or babayaran lang yan once. Therefore, pagdating kay principal, present value of 1 ang ating gagamitin. Then, pagdating naman kay interest, since annually yan, marireceive, asahan mo na present value factor of ordinary annuity of 1 ang ating gagamitin. And in the computation of present value factors, si to it na effective rate ang ating ginagamit. So, let's compute now the present value factor. Present value factor of 1 muna. That's 1.12 divided by divided by equals and then 3 periods tayo. Sabihin na natin 3 years to. So M plus will be click 3 times. Equals, equals, equals. So our present value factor of 1 now is equal to 0 0.7118. So I will put 0 0.7118 here. Next, pagdating kay interest, how to compute the present value factor of ordinary annuity of 1 kasi? Pindutin mo lang si MR and then that's it. So pagka pindut mo ng MR, lalabas si 2.4018. So lalagay natin dito, 2.4018. So present value is equal to 3 million pesos times point. 7118 and then equals next 300,000 times 2.4018 then equals ulit. Then pindutin mo yung GT because GT stands for grand total. Makocompute na natin si present value which is 2,855,940. Sir, paano po kapag walang GT? ang calculator ko. If walang GT, ang calculator mo, anong gagawin natin? Ang gagamitin natin is, gagamitin natin is yung MR at yung M+. Plus. So, paano yun? Pintutin mo muna si MC, AC, or MRC. Next, 3 million times 0.7118 rather than equals, ang pipintutin mo is M+. Plus. So, M+. Plus. Then, 300,000 times 2.4018 M plus ulit. Then pintutin mo yung MR or MRC, lalabas din si 2,855,940. So pareho lang ang computation. So that's the computation of present value. Nagagamit po yan. Not just in notes receivable, nagagamit din yan sa notes payable, sa investment in bonds, sa bonds payable, even sa leases at sa marami pang bagay.
Next, punta tayo sa amortization table. So here, in the amortization table, meron tayong mga column. We have column for the date. We have column for the interest received or interest paid. We have column for the interest income or interest expense. We have column for the amortization. Then we have column for the carrying amount. So let's say January 1, 2020, an initial issuance date natin. Three years yet. So December 31, 2020. December 31, 2021. And then December 31, 2022. So our carrying amount at initial measurement is equal to 2,855,940. Interest received or interest paid, hindi yan nagbabago. That's 300,000 annually. So ilalagay ko dito, 300,000, 300,000, and 300,000. Next, interest income. Paano makompute si interest income? Interest income is equal to the carrying amount at the beginning times the effective rate. Then amortization, how to compute amortization? Amortization is just equal to the difference between the interest received and interest income. So any difference of the two will be the amortization. Then the carrying amount will be equal to the carrying amount at the beginning plus discount amortization or minus premium amortization. So, kailan merong discount? Kailan merong premium? Meron tayong tinatawag na discount if the phased amount is higher than the present value at meron namang premium if the phased amount is lower than the present value. So, obviously here, our phased amount is 3 million. Our present value is only 2.8 million. Therefore, here in this problem, meron po tayong discount. So let's compute the interest income for the year 2020. That is equal to 2855940 times the effective rate of 12%. So that's equal to 342713. Amortization is the difference between the two. So 342713 minus 300,000, our amortization now is equal to 42,713. This is a discount. Therefore, if discount ito, this discount amortization now will be added to the carrying amount at the beginning. So 2855940 plus 42713 is equal to 2898653. And same thing. Times 12% natin to. Makukompute natin si interest income which is 347. 838. Then any difference between the two will be the amortization, which is 47,838. Then this count ulit to, so i add natin. So 289653 plus 47838, or that will give us 2946491. And last na lang, times 12% ulit. Our interest income is 353579. Difference between the two is equal to 53579. Then adding these two will give us 3 million 70 pesos. So ilalagay na lang natin is 3 million pesos. There's a 70 pesos difference due to the rounding off of the present value factors. So as you can see, medyo matagali prepare si amortization table. So before ko i-end ang video na to, I will give you some shortcuts on how to compute the carrying amount. Ready na? So carrying amount at the end, lagi mo itong tatandaan, is equal to the carrying amount at the beginning times one point effective rate then minus interest received or interest paid. Sir, nagagamit po ba yan even though liability tayo or receivable tayo? Yes, magagamit yan. 
Sir, magagamit din po ba yan? Whether premium or discount? Yes, magagamit din yan. So, try natin palabasin yung carrying amount by using this shortcut computation. Alright? So, 2855940 times 1.12 minus 300,000 as you can see, lalabas ito. Times 1.12 Minus 300,000 ulit, lalabas. Yung pangalawang carrying amount, then times 1.12 minus 300,000, lalabas yung 3 million pesos. Once again, there's a difference of 70 pesos due to the rounding off of the present value factors used in the computation. So that's our shortcut on how to compute the carrying amount at the end. Is sir, paano po kapag interest income ang inahanap? Pag interest income ang hinahanap, madali na lang yan as long as alam mo na yung carrying amount. So if ito ang hinahanap, compute mo muna ito, tsaka mo i-multiply ito ng 12%, makukuha mo na rin to. Sir, paano po kapag amortization ang hinahanap? Pag amortization ang hinahanap, just compare the two. Kapag alam mo na kung paano i-compute si interest income, eh yung interest received, fix naman yan. Therefore, just get the difference between the two, then makukuha mo na si amortization. So that's the shortcut on how to compute the amortized cost or the carrying amount at the end. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.